Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Kaspersky Security Cloud. This is the free version. A lot of people have been asking me to take a look at this new product. The first thing, obviously, as you've noticed, is it picks up Process Hacker, but at least it says what's true. It says that it's legitimate software that can be used by criminals to damage your computer or personal data. I'm not sure that's entirely accurate, but at least it makes it clear that this is not malware. So I'm going to add to exclusions, or you know what, just ignore, because that's fine as well. Now, as you can see, we are fully protected. I will do a database update just to be sure, but I think we've done one just a minute ago. Now, while that's happening, I'll show you some of the settings. So this is a very basic product. So it comes with the real-time protection, the file antivirus, web antivirus, network attack blocker, system watcher. So it comes with a fair number of components. But strangely enough, if we go to more tools, I believe, it's going to show us that application control, trusted application mode, these are things that you only get with the premium version. As I understand, application control is more a behavioral monitoring feature. I'm not sure if this product is entirely dependent on signatures, because as you can see in settings, it does come with System Watcher, so this protects from ransomware and other crypto lockers and rolls back changes in the system caused by the activity of malicious programs. So this does seem like reactive behavioral monitoring, but we'll see how it actually functions. Now in terms of performance, all the settings are the same. You've got your usual scan settings. Honestly, not a lot has changed in terms of the actual product. I think it's more a branding change, calling it the security cloud instead of free antivirus and internet security. I think it's more to do with the cloud management aspect of it. But hey, since everybody's asking for it, why not give it a full test? So it looks like we're good to go. I've got my set of malware files as usual. I will show them to you. You've got 1746 items. Now this is a mix of ransomware, PUPs, malware, all sorts of stuff. We're not going to transfer it onto the host system as we usually do, but we will actually execute all of this malware from a network drive and see if Kaspersky is able to protect the host. I think this is a very realistic attack scenario for enterprise or home users where you've got multiple computers networked. It's often how ransomware authors infiltrate networks. So we'll see how good Kaspersky is at protecting us. In order to get started, we will first move over to our network drive, which I believe is Z and shared. Now, of course, I'm not executing 1746 items by myself, so I'll use a script to automate it. So we will be using Malix as usual. And all it does is go through all the files in the folder, executes them with a the time delay independently, and calculates the proactive detection for us. It's important to note that Malix itself is not malicious. It's simply the script that is used to automate the test. As we have confirmed, real-time protection is indeed turned on. So let the test begin. I will also start Task Manager and show you the CPU usage while the test is happening so you can kind of see what Kaspersky is up to. So far we've got fairly low CPU usage, seven to 10%, but the test is also progressing reasonably fast. So I'm okay with that. Let's see how this goes. Everything looks all right. Kaspersky is deleting files. Let's speed it up, shall we?
Okay, the test is complete. It took about 20 minutes, which is pretty good. CPU usage was also very reasonable. So all things considered, I think it was a very smooth test. The proactive detection is 99.94%, so almost nothing was missed. Before we go ahead, I'd like to mention that in terms of signatures, Kaspersky is one of the best, if not the best, not just in terms of detection, but also in terms of quality of signatures. For example, Bitdefender also has great signatures, but they will often say trojan.generic for a vast majority of threats. Whereas Kaspersky, they actually take the time to name things appropriately and very specifically. So the detection names are usually more accurate and easy to understand. So kudos to them for that. Now, as far as the system is concerned, I don't see any real process that are active right now. So even if any malware was executed during the test, it's not running at the moment. There are no startup items added or anything like that. But we will restart the system. I'll do a couple of second opinion scans. All right, so Hitman Pro did not detect anything at all. No surprises there. I tried to do a scan with Norton Power Razor, but it seems it's interfering with the driver that Kaspersky installed or something. Just doesn't seem to finish. But I think that's okay, since uh, it's not like a lot of malware executed anyway. I took a look at the auto runs. I haven't seen anything here so far that's uh, in any way suspicious. Everything seems normal. There's also nothing in processes as we saw earlier. The only thing that really happened is there was this one file that executed and it extracted a bunch of stuff in the shared folder. None of this is really executable even. It's just a uh, a bunch of files. I don't even know what this is. So it's likely a false positive and it hasn't in any way affected the system. As you can tell, our data is safe. So all things considered, it's a really good performance by Kaspersky. Of course, we didn't really get to test the behavioral aspect of it as much because most of it was just blocked by the signatures. But I think if you're looking for a free solution to replace Windows Defender, even from a purely signature perspective, it's a pretty good choice. And I haven't found the application particularly annoying in terms of pop-ups or being too pushy about advertising the pro versions. So yeah, please like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.